Hello everybody, happy birthday to our baby caterpillars. That's what I said I would be showing you next. After all of those eggs, I bet you'd be wondering what some of those baby caterpillars would look like. So that's what I'm going to be showing you right now. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. <clears throat> so I've got my light set up on top, but it's kind of difficult to see. I'm trying to focus my camera. There's a whole bunch of little tiny baby caterpillars. They look like ants. They're, that's actually a bug that's not a caterpillar. But all of these little things are little baby caterpillars. And if I were to tip this plant on its side underneath, you can see it is absolutely covered in this little tiny black squigglies and I'm trying to get as good of a view as I can but my phone literally doesn't even focus on things that small so this is about as good as I can get maybe if I go in real slow you can see they're kind of like a dark green with a black head and they're just march, march, marching. Here, maybe if I turn it. Look at this. The leaf is already almost gone. They have eaten almost the whole leaf. At this stage, right after they come out of their egg, it's called their first instar. Because they have five instars. They shed their skin and they grow, just like snakes do. Five times before they go to chrysalis. Um, you can see on the edges, what they do is they, they eat their leaf and they bump into another caterpillar and then they, they go down, they go around, they're even climbing. Maybe I can show you on my table. They climb out of the little net because they're so small they can squeeze through these tiny holes. So here's what I do everybody. Let me show you. I cut some burdock from my garden. It's not necessary. It's kind of bad to have leaves this big in the beginning because they're just going to dry out and you're going to have to replace them. But I have so much in my garden that I figured what the hay might as well start with the big one. So what I do is I move the plant closer to the back. I put one leaf in the front, another leaf in the back, and then I'll put one leaf on the table, and they even like to climb to the top of the net. So I'll put one on the top of the net. Basically, you put the leaves where you think they're going to be and you kind of catch them in their little migration. So that is our baby caterpillars. Isn't that exciting? I hope you learned something. One more time. It's almost impossible to see. If you were out in nature, you, it would be like really hard for you to find one caterpillar all by itself but this is like a swarming army and then next to it we've got another burdock plant that's covered in eggs underneath um ugh, i can't even underneath covered in eggs so that'll be hatching in another couple days over here, we've got a butterfly drinking on my new and improved butterfly feeder. It's just a butterfly feeder filled with Gatorade. Well, I mean, a hummingbird feeder filled with Gatorade. And then I put a little red felt wick. See how his little proboscis is moving all around? 
That means he's slurp, slurp, slurping it up and he's really happy. Over here we've got all of the butterflies. They came down from the top where they hang out at nighttime and then during the day they all go and hang out on the burdock. So that's what they're doing. Painted ladies don't really migrate. They, they're they more like opportunistic butterflies. Um, maybe because they're smaller, I'm not entirely sure. But um, they don't migrate. And that's kind of why I prefer working with them more than the monarchs and the swallowtails, which towards the end of the summer, I will have a lot of them. But they want to fly. They want to fly to Mexico, you know? Um, so they're much more active than the painted ladies. So that's really... Um, what we've got going on. Since this is the first time showing you the butterfly feeder, I also cut out... No, I didn't cut anything. Um, I took green gloves that I used before I showed you that I used to, to handle the butterflies because they can grab on. And the problem with the butterfly feeder, I mean the hummingbird feeder by itself is the butterflies can't walk up the plastic to the flowers, one. And two, they can't find the hole with their little proboscis as easily. I have had some success, but it's kind of random. And with this, I just pinch it to make sure that it's still wet, which it is, they're still wet. And that's much easier for the butterflies to find and drink the Gatorade. So, maybe I can do a little... Ooh. I don't know if that's focusing for you guys, but they're all hanging out in the corner. They're all in the corner. So later in the day, I will take this burdock plant out because it's covered in eggs. I'll move this one up into the corner, and then I'll put a new fresh one in there. I'll put the eggs in there with the other baby caterpillars um, this leaf and that leaf on the outside starts to get covered in little baby caterpillars that kind of escaped and then I'll put that back inside here um, when this net gets all dirty and filled with caterpillars I'll start transferring them to a second net which will be for the second instar caterpillars when they're a little bit bigger. So that's another day in the life of a lepidopterist. That's what butterfly farmers or, or um, biologists, people who study butterflies, they're called the lepidopterists because another word for butterfly in Greek is lepidoptera. So Entomology is this is the field of study in biology. So I would technically be an entomologist, lepidopterist. So yeah, this is supposed to be an educational channel. I want it to be like a National Geographic, something for people to come on and learn about butterflies, but it's also really fun to see them flapping around. So once I get tired of talking to you guys and I've run out of stuff to say, I'm going to have what I used to have last year, which is just a video with the butterflies doing their thing or caterpillars with some music. Maybe I'll speed it up because some people show videos of uh, time lapse of worms eating and I thought it would be fun to do that with caterpillars eating when they're a little bit bigger because they'll take a whole leaf and they'll just munch, munch, munch it until it's gone and like so fast. So anyways, thanks again everybody. I'll do one more little zoom in of our caterpillar friends. In the beginning, they don't really eat the entire leaf. They kind of just munch on the outsides, but that's what it looks like. Thanks again, and see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.